Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel for a very, what I think is a very special video, a kind of video, I'll be honest, I have never made before. So I am a little unsure on how I'm going to piece it together, but I think it's gonna be a bit of face to camera and some voiceovers. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know, that, and probably the thumbnail is giving it away as well, but Addie and I have just celebrated, I keep calling it our anniversary, but our one year anniversary. If you followed and watched the videos from a year ago when obviously I introduced my channel to Addie, if you feel like that year has gone fast, please let me know down below because I feel like it's absolutely flown by. I cannot believe it's been 12 months. I'm also a little bit sad that we're going into winter, so apologies if it sounds windy. I feel like we're getting into winter vlogging now when the elements are against us, the light, the wind, the rain. I was gonna start this video up with Addie herself in the field, but I thought you're probably not gonna hear me, so I'm afraid it's just me, but there will be plenty of Addie content throughout this video, so do not worry, um, obviously, because it is all about her. I wanted to create this video just to look back at the progress, the partnership that we've built together, and yeah, it's all. It's good to look back. There is a there's a quote, and I'll put it on screen um, because I can't quite think of how it goes. But it's you should never look back unless it's to look back to see how far you've come. And this video is exactly that. I've had a little sneaky look because I needed to get together like what footage I'm going to include. But I think when I just went through my phone alone, not even my hard drive, I had something like 400 videos. So how I'm going to select all of that to go down into a I'd say a short vlog, it probably won't be a short vlog, but not a movie length vlog. I do not know, but that is when it gets to the editing. I've looked at some of the very early videos and the progress is absolutely insane as I will take you guys through. And if you are relatively new to my channel, welcome, hello, or this could be actually your first video that you're watching. So it will give you a good background of Addie and I's journey so far. I guess the start of Addie and I's journey was actually before Addie was even on the scene and I had to make the very hard, actually no, the hardest decision that was to sell Miss Lola. Unfortunately I was not in, and I still am not, in a position, excuse my doggy in the background, in a position, oh and the wind comes in a bit more as well, in a position to be able to afford three horses. I am very, very, very fortunate, one, to keep the horses at home and two, work with some fantastic brands that do help my hobby be that all bit cheaper. But still, I haven't got a third stable. I needed actually the money in order to buy another horse. So like I say, I had to make, and it wasn't a light decision either. And it actually took me quite a few months from the deciding thing of yes I'm going to sell her to actually getting that advert out there there was a couple of months in between that because it just took my brain I think so much to come around to the terms of that I was going to sell her I then left it quite a few weeks once Miss Lola I think it just felt so raw and I didn't even look I did have friends that were messaging me of horses and ponies my dad was asking me have you looked around yet and I just wasn't quite ready. So it was just Sprite and I for a little while. And then I think it was a Monday. I don't know why a Monday, but I then thought, no, I feel I'm ready now. Let's go into <laughs> the realms of buying a horse, which I haven't done for many, many years. I messaged Fred and just said, I am now looking for a horse. If you hear of anything, see of anything, please can you just keep me in mind? And it wasn't even that I was just putting the feelers out there just to say, if you do see something, which he then sent me a video via WhatsApp and said, I have got a lovely buckskin here that would be right up your street. Sent me a video of her looking over the door, very sweet and yeah, looking lovely. And I thought, well, I may as well, Fred has had her down there um, and I thought I may as well go down and take a look at her and, yeah, see what I think. I first saw her down at Pendarvis 
Fred had taken her down there to do a bit of schooling and he rode around, showed me what she was like, jumped her and then I got on and had a little ride around and it's really difficult isn't it especially when you are so used to riding say Sprite or Lola to then get on a gangly freshly broken four-year-old which I'll be honest guys was not what I was also expecting and I suppose with deciding to go for Addy, I have had to make some sacrifices knowing that this past year was going to be more about the experience and the partnership and not necessarily getting out there and being competitive. But something that you can't beat with having a young horse is that you build that partnership together from a very young age. And I feel even just after a year, Addy and I have got a real bond and I feel like we've really gelled together and I think that will help us as we move up levels and move on through the years. So you, it comes with its swings and roundabouts. Yes, you've had to make sacrifices, but ones that I'm hoping will repay me in later years. After seeing Addy for the first time down at Pendarvis, as you can imagine, I couldn't stop thinking about her and went down a few days later to see her again. Now, when I went to Pendarvis, I just went with my mum. But on this day, which is completely unseen footage, by the way, guys, nobody knew about this except for my mum, dad and Tina, who joined me on this day. Of course, I wanted to hear and see what they thought, what their opinions was, because as you know, buying a horse is quite a big deal and I really didn't want to make the wrong decision. But just riding her around and jumping her here, I, I felt confident. I wasn't scared of her or anything like that. And that really spoke a lot for me. Um, I just felt, yeah, really comfortable. Roll on a couple of weeks. Addie was vetted, which she passed with absolute flying colours. And it was then time to pick her up and bring her home. If you can remember that vlog, this is me introducing her to my channel, to you guys. I did have a lesson before bringing her home. Just again, Fred to be on the ground helping us kind of bond together. And it's these videos that I watch back that makes me realise how far we have come. It's now when I look back, I find that these videos are invaluable to see our progress and also how much Addy has developed. Now here is Addy getting off my trailer for the very first time at home and looking like she had done it loads of times. I was really chuffed with how she settled in. She tucked straight into her hay and she was, she just seemed really happy and comfortable in her new bedroom. That evening, Tina came over and brought a bottle of bubbly to celebrate the new horse, the new partnership. And here you can tell that she's my kind of horse having and wanting to give the bubbly a bit of a taste test. She then had her first day out in the field, said hello to Nala and also touched noses with Spritey. <laughs> I did actually keep them separate for a few weeks, being able to see each other over a gate but not actually out together. Then as I planned, I took Addy out longlining, getting her used to her new hacking environment and then when I'm close to home, on the way back, I would get on and ride her. And yeah, she was super. I had my mum and dad on the ground to give me a helping hand and in case anything went wrong and I needed them but she was so well behaved and I love this shot of our first ride back in the lane of something that we now do week in, week out. We then headed to Coleraine for our first lesson away from home, so to speak, with Fred and in the most horriblest of weathers, but it's nice to know that Addy is not a fair weather pony and she doesn't mind a bit of rain and well, actually a lot of rain and a lot of wind but she was super 
showed how bold and brave she was but you can see how gangly and baby she was she showed me all the scope in the world but definitely how wobbly she was and it really i think this lesson highlighted how much like my riding had to help her because i hadn't ridden something that wobbly for a while we then spent the next few weeks just getting out hacking getting to know one another getting yeah building our partnership really in the early days we met up with fred again at cold rain for a grid work lesson and yeah first time jumping indoors with addy but she she actually needed to be sort of encouraged over those fences if i'm honest if i remember back correctly which seems really crazy to think what she's like now she had a first clip which again she was so brave wasn't phased and just let me actually do a full clip which i wasn't even expecting to do then i took a freshly clipped addy down to another new arena that she had never been to but i think it really helps to go to new places so that she sees different things on the side i bet she was again awesome and then we had our first and actually guys our only beach ride something that i really do want to make sure that i get her back down there again this winter but she was so good she was so brave wasn't worried about the waves but we did have uncle banksy and tina there to hold our hands for our first experience of hopefully many more beach rides to come a piece to camera with oh you probably can't see addy now because sprite is hiding her but with the ponies in the background so as you've seen the first, say, six weeks went really, really lovely. New horse, super exciting. We had some wonderful lessons and we, I felt like we got off to a really good start. However, and if you have been around for a little while, you'll know that I then had some struggles, almost like the honeymoon period was over. And for a couple of reasons that I will quite openly handily put my hands up to say that I think I actually brought them on. And hindsight is the most annoying, wonderful thing, but being a new horse and a young horse, little things that she did, I'd be like, oh, it's okay, she's just young, like she'll grow out of it, that sort of thing, but actually no. And I suppose the personality of Addy being so brave and bold in like cross country and things like that, that if you let her almost walk all over you on the ground, she will then learn that she can, trying to be the dominant dominant one really um wants to be the alpha and you've got to remind her that no i'm the boss i'm the one in charge i'm the, the head of our pack thank you and unfortunately i didn't so it just made us have a few little issues that we had to work through i did give her a week off again that wasn't long enough i should have given her two weeks off just to properly like switch off but it doesn't matter we got through it come January after she had had we conquered some of the issues like being a bit bolshy on the ground loading and then I gave her two solid weeks off just before and kind of over Christmas and then beginning of January it was time to bring her back into work like every time that we brought Addy back into work, we'd always start by long lining, then slowly getting back on and hacking. And then when I take her to the school for the first time, I'd start by lunging her just so that she absorbs the atmosphere again. And I really felt that the break had done Addy the world of good, really hit that reset button. And she then came back much more understanding what was being asked of her. And you just want to keep these schooling sessions really nice, short, sweet, and just to slowly get her back into it. We then kept up with lessons weekly with Fred. And I feel here you can already see that Addy is starting to muscle up. But I wanted to get these lessons once a week with Fred just so that we were, and Addy was more mentally and physically prepared for what I had planned coming up. Oh my goodness, I'm going to say the ponies are excited for camp. Oh, don't pull a shoe off now. 
we then headed off to Pontespool for a two day camp with Fred and oh my goodness this was so beneficial for Addy. Having, it was a lot of training for her but actually it allowed her brain from day one to day two the progress was insane it really allowed it to sort of concrete in and allow her to understand again what was being asked of her as you can see the first cross-country fence she's like what on earth is that why are you asking me to jump that I don't jump solid wood looking fences but when she came out then on the second day she was just epic it was also her first stay away as well so it was nice for her to know that she goes away she's with me the whole time and she was actually really settled in her stable like she had done it many times before but to know that then she would come home with me again and yeah just sort of I just think stay aways for them are so beneficial as well because they kind of have to rely a little bit on you but it also really helped our partnership to sort of gel and to strengthen. Something I really learned with Addy at camp was, and I have throughout the year, is that you never need to ask more than twice. Once she doesn't understand it once, the second time round she'll understand the question. She's really, really smart and such a clever little cookie. Following camp, I thought it would be a good time to go out and experience our first ever show. So we headed to Coleraine, where she had been training a lot. So she was aware of the environment, the jumps, the water, the steps, and we entered some arena eventing, which admittedly may be putting her in a little bit at the deep end, but I thought following camp so quickly, it would be perfect for her. And she did awesome. Just one little look at that jump, but otherwise epic. Following on from our camp of Pontesport with Fred and our first competition, I felt let's not make the same mistake twice and give her another two weeks off. She had been back in work probably around 10 weeks and I just felt within that 10 week block she had done quite a lot, lots of new things, probably using different muscles, like different jumping exercises, asking more of her in the dressage, taking on different atmospheres like the first competition, staying away for the first time and I just really really didn't want to make the same mistake twice if I'm honest so decided that was a really good time to give her two weeks off, allow her brain to process everything, let her muscles all just sort of relax and settle because yeah she's using different muscles to do all those different exercises that she's probably never used before so it is nice just to give them that break before them picking things up and going off again. As you can tell, Addie was feeling absolutely superb after her break. I had done all the usual long lining, lunging, schooling, hacking, which to be honest guys, there is a couple of videos on my channel for bringing Addie back into work if you are interested to know exactly what I do in that process. But once she was up to a bit of fitness, we then went on our first ever fun ride for Addie and myself, because I'll be honest, I have never been on a fun ride before. And this is where I learned how independent Addie was. Yes, there was a couple of spills but it was epic. We then went cross-country schooling on grass for the first time in a group lesson with Fred where Addy was pretty bold the majority of the time, just a few as to be expected baby moments like that ditch but we got over it and she then soon learned still being a bit exuberant but what I'd learned from camp from day one to day two that it really helps to kind of reinforce it is to head back as soon as possible. So a couple days later, we actually went back up to Chiverton on our own. And as you can see, she really improved and understood the question so much more. We then headed to Coleraine for a couple of show jumping rounds. She was pretty feisty. I think it wasn't long after we had done the cross country. So she was yeah keen bean and we had entered the 60 and the 70 the 60 had no fillers and then the 70 had fillers but i'll be honest addy knew what the aim of the game was and was absolutely super <laughs> It 
was then time for Cameron to meet Addy and this lesson was so so beneficial to sort of find out where next in our training we needed to go. Cameron got on, had a ride and could then feel what I was feeling. He's looking super on her and actually he is due to get back on her soon. I'm intrigued to see what he would think now but it really helped the way of my riding. I had been sort of bringing her back when she was getting unbalanced but actually I needed to be pushing her forward and I think that is with a young horse that they go through all different stages and having that instruction on the ground when they can get on. I know Fred has obviously ridden my horses in the past. It is so beneficial and really helps with then our schooling when we are alone and it really helped my riding. Then it was time a little bit early I'll be honest but to head to our first one day event it was at a very local venue where we had been cross-country schooling it's only 20 minutes away so I felt like it would have been a shame not to go and it was the only one that they were holding all year so I thought we'll go just have a bit of fun see what happens admittedly it was our first ever dressage test on grass and we didn't have studs I wasn't quite prepared so I wasn't expecting anything in the dressage and actually I think she held it together really really well considering um, and yeah it was going to be a little bit wild it was never going to be anything less but she was super and then it was on to the show jumping where she was so speedy I don't know if it had just clipped with her about jumping but she was so so game pulling me into them we did get quite fast and flat we were only doing the 70 so as you can see through the double we were just way too fast and flat but it was then time to go out on the cross country which she went out the start box like she had been out the start box many times before flew over the first couple of fences i wanted to stay in trot and i did that just gave her time to sort of assess what was going on what was being asked of her and coming around this corner and this is typical baby she was concentrating on absolutely everything else but not the fences but after that she then realized okay mum I need to I need to listen to you so that's fine and she jumped the rest of them so so well I honestly I mean it took us an awful long time to get around because we trotted into most fences except for the last but she was just absolutely epic we then spent a lot of our Wednesday evenings at Cornwall Trek's summer series, which is just got the most loveliest of atmospheres. And instead of taking Addy schooling, I thought this would be really beneficial for her. We weren't necessarily ready to be being judged, if I'm honest, by a dressage judge and be in a dressage arena, but I wanted her to get used to the whiteboards, the way that we go into a test. And yeah, I used it more for arena practice than anything else and they would do it alternative weeks they'd do dressage and then show jumping and it really helped just training purposes more than actually going there to be competitive in our classes it was also we had been to one already i think and then we went to another show jumping evening and we stepped up and did our first 80 and they really had got into Addie's brain jumping is fun and this is all I want to do she was super keen and did a cracking round our first 80 we kept up with our lessons up at Rollstone and Cameron and joined Tina and Banksy a couple of times and this lesson again was so beneficial yes we're jumping probably the biggest that we've ever jumped but actually it was to help Addy just back off a little bit like you can't knock her enthusiasm at all but being in a grid you knew you were always going to be on the right stride to that fence then we had our first cross-country lessons with John T Evans I was really hoping we were going to get to another one if I was honest but it just never seemed to work out this summer but we'll be there next year and Addy was was again so game and keen and again Jonty really helped me just to allow her don't try and put her on the perfect stride let her figure it out for herself and it's all those little things that these instructors teach you that you can take away and put into your training It 
was then time for probably our biggest experience to date, if I'm honest, is going to Nodwood House Equine for Swipe Up Kick On Series 2. This was a huge thing for Addy with all the cameras, all the people, all the training, but she was epic and really didn't, I'll be honest, act her age. She was so good, so game and it was hugely beneficial to both of us. If you haven't watched the series yet, you can still watch it on H&C Plus. like all these pieces to camera that I'm doing to sort of break up the footage it's basically just saying that Addie's going off on another break and she is after swipe up kick on series two which I have to say was a huge atmosphere for Addie to take on for any horses and ponies but with Addie being her age all the cameras the people the work the traveling that was actually the longest that she has ever traveled and yeah, it was an awful lot for her to take on. And the stint that she had then been back in work, last time it was around 10 weeks, and this was actually pushing up probably 12, maybe even 14. And I knew that she was due to have a break. But obviously with Swipe Up Kick On, it, yeah, it was just one of those things. I was really hoping that nothing would go wrong. I was touching every piece of wood and thankfully it was absolutely fine. I did give her like sort of an easy week before going up there because I knew that work was going to yeah her brain and body was going to be working when we were up there but yeah if you've got a young horse really think about how much work they've done and when breaks would be good for them because I'll be honest I didn't quite realize how beneficial they are they're just like us rest days to us are just as important as the days that we actually work really hard we go schooling we go jumping but those rest days are just as important. And it wasn't actually until Cameron said something to me in one of my lessons that I had with him, treat them like a school child where they go to a school five days a week, which is quite intense, but at half term, they have a week off. And at the end of term, they have two weeks at so like Christmas, Easter and summer holidays to completely and utterly switch off and hit that reset button. And that was what I felt Addy needed now I was actually heading off on holiday to Portugal a couple of other things I think I had going on and it just worked out really well to give her I aimed for a month but actually the UK was then hit with a heat wave so I actually didn't worry about bringing her back straight away and I think she had another couple of weeks so a really nice long time off to allow her brain to completely switch off, muscles all to relax. She also grew a bit in that time, although she's still growing now. It really, really helped her. And then I knew that we would be coming back. And in that time, I was able to set goals, have ideas of what I perhaps wanted us to get out and do in the end of summer, end of eventing season. So yeah, have a look at what we then got up to. Again, as I always did, followed the same process so Addie knew that she was coming back into work. We long-lined, we hacked, built up a bit of fitness. We went schooling, I'd lunch her first, and you can really see in these clips here how much of a bit of a belly Addie had put on from having a bit of a longer break. Almost lost a little bit of muscle and, yeah just got a bit more of a grass belly. Now I was aware that she had changed shape, she had grown, so we had a saddle fitting with Albion just to make sure that things were fitting her correctly before starting to sort of up the work again. We also that day tried out a new dressage saddle which hopefully should be coming soon. The next few weeks, probably month, was just the case of building up Addie's fitness, getting her back out to arena hire and getting her over some fences, going on some adventures with our besties for the BHS Ride-a-thon. This was 
the most glorious ride and it was really nice to experience taking Addy to somewhere completely new. There was then a perfectly timed cross-country group session with Fred up at Pontesport. Now when Addy was on her break I had made some goals and knew that Pontesport BE was coming up at the end of September and I hadn't actually entered but after this session and speaking to Fred I felt that we were actually ready to enter our first B80. She was on fire this day. We still had, don't get me wrong, a couple of baby moments, but on on the whole, like this fence, she was just so game and was keen to do it. She then had her three monthly checkup with the lovely Lauren, who I am very kindly supported by, but it was nice that she had done a bit of work after having a break to then just give her a check over and make sure that she was all a-okay. I suppose the countdown was on now for the goals that I had set. We kept up with our lessons. Addy met Georgia for the first time to help with our dressage. We had another epic lesson with Cameron, show jumping up at Cole Rain. And I really feel this lesson, we did some really like sort of tight, sort of technical turns and it really helped pick me and Addy to be in tune even more than what we already were. And then we headed to Pontesbull for our first B80. Now apologies if you guys have seen the vlog from this because it wasn't that long ago, but I can't believe seeing her on grass there for the first time since our last one on grass back in what I think it was April, how much better balanced and composed she was. She was fantastic in the show jumping. We just had the one down, but we hit all the correct striding in our related distances and then again in the cross country we only jumped a couple of fences for the warm-up I think like four because she was just so on it and I knew she understood what was about to happen now a huge thank you to Equiril for my whole entire round and it's just something that I can look back on especially next year before getting out of venting again but just to see absolutely how game she was and I never ever expected her if I'm honest and I know I shouldn't say it to go clear it was then only a week until we were heading off to Launceston we went down to Fred and had a kind of touch-up lesson just to keep in control of that outside shoulder outside rein and ending being able to canter a 10 meter circle on a young horse which is just yeah epic <laughs> and then before I knew it we were off to Launceston again she was impeccably well behaved all day long she really wasn't phased by like the atmosphere hearing the commentator and just got on with the work and it was nice to reinforce what we had done that you do all three phases in one day only the week before we then had to do our first show jumping round on grass which we had never done before but honestly I felt like you would never tell because Addy was just awesome. We went clear but we did have a couple well eight time faults in the show jumping but I much rather time than have a pole. Cross country very much like Pontesbull she gave me an absolute epic ride. We did get some dodgy strides we took some flyers we got close but as I learned with John T earlier in the year is to allow her to make those mistakes whilst we're out there learning over the small offences as it will help us and her as we progress up through the levels. Now following on from our two events our eventing season came to a close although it gives me very butterflies excitement for what is to come next year I feel like this weekend we almost started our winter training my aim is to get Addy out as much as I can into those whiteboards into show jumping rounds because you as much as you can train and train at home you don't get that competition atmosphere when they do go tense in the arena so my aim is to get her out as much as possible to help her lose that tension and get more relaxation. We made this weekend into a bit of our own mini two-day two event and went arena eventing the following day where Addy much preferred this day out of the two. 
We had an epic time at the end of summer getting out to our first BE events. Admittedly, only being a week apart, but that was just, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. It was just the way that it worked out. I then did obviously that mini little event Coleraine dressage on the Saturday and arena eventing on the Sunday. And again, I just felt that Andy had started getting a little bit, almost a bit brain fried, if I'm totally honest. So I decided not to worry about it and just give her another week this time off. The following week, I then actually just hacked her three days, nice, easy mooches around lanes that she's hacked before, before heading off and grooming for Tina at Bicton. So over those two weeks, she had a really easy time, almost like having two weeks off, but I just wanted to keep her up physically because I didn't feel like physically she needed the break, but more it was mentally. Um, she had taken on again a lot with eventing, cross country lessons, and yeah, just felt that she needed it again mentally. For our one year anniversary, we had a lesson with Cameron and I just think this shows how much we have grown as a partnership. We're so much more in sync. She's so much more rideable and she has muscled up, filled out beautifully and just everything with her jumping technique has improved so much. The following weekend, I suppose this is over a year now, but we headed to Coleraine for a couple of show jumping rounds and tackled our first 90. So within 12 months, we've gone from falling over a 60 centimetre fence to jumping confidently around our first 90. And just like that, that is our year complete, isn't it? Yeah, oh, you dropped it. Now I've got it now, unlucky. <laughs> I can't believe it has been a whole year. It's crazy, but when I look back at all the footage, what a year it has been. Um, shall I come in there? Because she actually wants to just eat her haylage. Oh, uh, yeah, year on. I think you have well and truly deserved your name up on the wall, haven't you? Admittedly, that's been up, but <laughs> you said no to the camera. Don't buy the camera. Don't buy the camera. <laughs> You've definitely got used to these over the year, haven't you, Adji? Hey, definitely got used to that. That you're not just you're not just any old pony. You're a vlogger pony too, and you've actually yeah, you're very good, very very good, aren't you? But yeah, what a year it's been. There has been ups and downs. Don't get me wrong. It's never going to be plain sailing. Like in any sport, any life, there is always peaks and troughs. But with a young horse, it really does make it feel so so rewarding on those good days and I am so fortunate and lucky to have such epic people around me, instructors to give me guidance and family and friends to help me along the way, pick me up maybe when I need to. Thankfully there hasn't been touch wood, too many moments of that but have been there to celebrate the good days with me too and I can't wait for not just the next year, the following years and years and years I'll be honest, 2023 is looking like it has got an awful lot planned, so I hope you're up for it, Addy. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I keep, she needs to have, she will have another break shortly, and then she'll have like a bit of a longer winter break, almost like a, yeah, like a summer holiday, but a winter holiday for a little bit longer before getting her back into work and set up ready for eventing properly next year. I say properly, but I suppose maybe hopefully just being a little bit more competitive. Um, I'm not just British eventing, I'm looking at some other events too. Ooh, yeah, I need to, to be honest, I need to, and I've had this on my list to do for a long time, is to write down on like a monthly calendar of what events there are, because I want to get her out to as much as I can this winter, like dressage and show jumping, just so that we get that relaxation and things like I've mentioned in previous vlogs, but yeah. Anyways, that could probably be another vlog. Um, and I'm aware that this one is probably, I'm hoping not too long, considering when I started looking for footage to put in here, I had hours and hours and hours, as you probably can imagine, and trying to only select a few snippets was really, really hard. And actually that is what's taken me probably the longest about editing this vlog. But it's been so lovely to look back over the whole last 12 months and yeah, actually see how far we've come because 
like my first jump with her down with Fred in his school and we barely get over it and she knocks it down and she looks so weak whereas she's like properly muscled up now I still think she's got a bit of growing to do I feel like she's had another little growth spurt recently and I feel like her bum's gone up again which that can stop now Addy please um, you're only meant to be 15 free, and I don't know if you might be slightly, ever so slightly over it. I'm not quite sure, if I'm honest. But is that yummy, Hayley? You're enjoying that, aren't you? Um, I need to get you your dinner, but also a huge thank you goes to you guys for watching all the vlogs, for all your supporting messages, encouragement, your good luck, your well dones, congrats, honestly really from the bottom of my heart totally and utterly appreciate it you have no idea that when you do have those sort of bad days and I do try to keep it real and share about it that it helps you guys to know that you're not alone but also for me to know I'm not alone that we all go through those peaks and troughs there is not one issue that one of us would have with a horse that somebody else hasn't already had and yeah that I, I love vlogging for that reason and also for vlogs like this so that I can look back like I said at the very beginning it's good to look back but only to look back to see how far you've come something along those lines <laughs> I did look up the quote and I still can't remember it but yeah no huge thank you to you and to everybody like I say around me I'll probably forget somebody now but like Fred for introducing me to her, Cameron, Georgia, Chris, Tina, Carrie Ann, everybody that everyone's around and has been there to support and offer guidance and help and things like that. It, yeah, and my biggest thank you goes to you, you little golden pony. You're so epic. I love your attitude, and yeah, here's to many, many more years together. How soppy does that sound? I'm not really a soppy person, but yeah, <laughs> here's to many, many more years together hey what do you think you love it don't you <laughs> i really don't do sophia if i'm totally honest but she is absolutely epic and really really excites me for what's to come next so yeah winter of training another couple of breaks for her i'll leave a bee with her Young and Hayley, by the sound of it. Oh, Spritey's eating hers too. I'll get you your dinners now, ponies, because I think you both look at me like, yeah, it's dinner time. Lots planned for the winter, lots planned for next year. So look forward to all the vlogs to come in 2023. As I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and looking back with me. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up, a like, and a comment, perhaps one of your, I don't know, favourite moments? Um, I think one of mine, which actually, now I think about it, I don't know if I've got that clip in, but it's when she jumped the five bar gate. Um, I suppose now when I look back at it, I can say that, but at the time it scared me. Um, I'm very much touch wood. I'm going to jinx myself again, but she hasn't done it since. Fingers crossed it stays like that, yeah. There's lots of highs that make me really smile and feel fuzzy and, yeah, beam, basically. Um, she really does put a smile on my face. Here's to making more epic memories together. But yeah, sorry, I've totally digressed. Yeah, comment below. Let me know your favourite memory of Addy in the first year. And of course, if you don't already, please do hit that all important subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with all our content.